Hello, just making a short little video here to give you a walkthrough of the WDVR PC viewer. Opening the program, this is the main window that you'll see. And the first thing you need to do is to open the folder where your videos are. That's done by selecting the little folder icon here and click OK. Now up in the window here, you will see all of the files that are on the memory card and these can be filtered by normal event, park and photo. So for example, if you were looking for an event, you could unselect the others and just be left with event files, but we'll leave everything on for the moment. Um, now I'll get a video playing. So when you double click on a video, it will take a few seconds to start playing. And what you will have come up in the window is basically a thumbnail view of the program, of the file, and it will start to play. So looking around the window, this is the main window here. Down here you can see the GPS information. This is where the car is or where the camera is at the time the video footage is uh, shot. And I'll just pause it there. And starting up on this line here, we see the speed at which the car is moving, the volume of the video playback. You can select between the front and rear cameras here. And on the rear camera, you can flip left to right and upside down. So left to right is just for reading number plates. Upside down is for, it depends on the orientation of your camera when it was originally installed. Down here, you see the G sensor information. This is how your car is actually being driven because this car is not moving at the moment. It's represented by a flat line. Where this is useful is if you were in an accident and you had to prove, for example, that you did attempt to brake before a collision, it will show up in this information here. Um, it will also show collision uh, impact amount and uh, information like that. So down the bottom here, we have your playback stop controls. Um, we have here a magnifying glass if you wanted to enlarge any part of the video. Uh, we have print screen and most importantly we have our save icon. So for example if you wanted to save this file, you select the file, hit save and I'll put this on the desktop. It will convert the file to an AVI. It takes a few seconds and once that's done that video will be available for you to view. Now the VLC media player is included on the disc that you've uh, got with your dash cam. Windows natively doesn't play AVI files, so if you're having problems uh, viewing your files back on the desktop, just install VLC and that will solve that problem. So anyway, that's just a quick overview of the program. If you have any questions, by all means, please get in touch. Bye for now.